Okay, okay. Welcome back. Hello. Hello. Welcome back or hello for the first time if you're new. Uh, this is my mom and today we're going to be doing a little bit of a different type of video than I normally post or... Maybe similar because it's lifestyle. The way y'all talk about Jollof rice, right? so you you make it a lifestyle. Um, we're gonna be doing a review of the Trader Joe's spicy Jollof seasoned rice mix, um, and we're gonna be comparing it against got Jollof rice from a local restaurant. Um, I told my daughter I want to make Jollof rice for this video, but she was impatient, so she went out. We went out to get Jollof rice from a local restaurant. But it should taste nice, yeah. you know, but I'm very good at cooking jello fries. I love cooking. What's your favorite thing to cook? Mm. Jello fries, I go see. Good curry. Ogbono. With, with bitter leaf. Stew. Your fried, did you say fried rice already? Oh, oh yeah, my fried rice is superb, absolutely superb. I make fried rice better than the Chinese restaurant. <laughs> I'm Olo Washibi, what you call Olo Washibi, Yoruba people call Olo Washibi. I know how, I know how to burn. <laughs> um, I can attest to this, she's really good at cooking. I feel like anyone who's tried her food always says, Okay, so why doesn't she have a restaurant? <laughs> you know, everyone everyone really likes her food. Um, this has gotten a lot of controversy online, but also some praise. Trader Joe's is known for recreating dishes from around the world. And I guess this is just the next um, item on the list. Some people may say this is a big plus for putting Nigeria on the map. Now you can walk into Trader Joe's and get Jollof rice? Mom, could you read the ingredients? Do you think this is what you would typically put in jollof rice? Enriched long grain parboiled rice, iron phosphate, and acid. Germine, monofluoric acid, no. <laughs> Tomato powder, no. Tomato flakes, fresh tomatoes is better. <laughs> Fresh onions is better, not dried onions. Dried garlic, fresh garlic is better. So, okay, red pepper, red pepper flakes, fresh red pepper is better. Black pepper, mm, depends on who is it in it. I prefer spicy red pepper. Canola oil, yeah, that's good. Depends on what kind of oil you like. Some people use virgin oil, some use corn oil, some use vegetable oil, so canola oil is good. Just want to bear in mind that this is of course made to keep in the pantry, so some of these ingredients might be to preserve the jollof rice. Um, and this is, is this the first time you've ever heard of jollof rice that is instant that you can make? Um, no. I this had, is common. Uh, uh, well, I heard about it on Facebook. I'm oh, not two, not Trader Joe's so. one, just in general. Is yeah, this, com this is common. No, that's the first time I heard. It. Have you ever heard of instant jollof fries before? Instant jollof fries? Not really. Well, some people have you ever heard of jollof fries you can make in the microwave? Some people sell bagged um egusi. I've heard of egusi. Yeah. Right? Just a goosey. But about two weeks ago, I heard about the jollof fries on Facebook. Yeah. yeah, but have you ever heard of jollof rice you can make in a microwave before? No. Okay. So today we can either make the jollof rice on the stovetop or in the microwave. What, which one do you think we should do? Mm. Or should we split it in half and do one on one type? And that would be too complicated. Let's just pick one. Stovetop or microwave, you think? Doesn't matter. Whatever you want. And we are going to be comparing it against some jollof rice we bought from a local restaurant here. Um, so yeah, we'll give you guys our thoughts when we go back and make this and yeah, what are your expectations? I hope it, yeah, it should be good. If people buy it, it should be okay. It should be nice. But they didn't know people were going to buy it when they made it. 
Well, then, I mean, if people are not complaining, then it should be good. If people are not complaining, because if it's not worth it, then people will complain. Oh, I want their money back. Okay. So, so that's pretty pretty high hopes going into you know. it. So it depends on what you want. I prefer cooked jollof rice. Jollof rice I make fresh. What? Who's makes the best jollof rice that you know of? Makes I do. <laughs> I do. And yes, so this is our first meal for the day. So this is gonna be our honest opinions. All right, we'll be back when the food is ready. Ciao. <laughs> So here we're just following the directions that's on the packet. I'm putting in three cups exactly of water and then one fourth of a teaspoon of salt. And then it says to leave it for 20 minutes in there to boil. Once the water comes to a boiling point, you put in the entire package and you leave it for 20 minutes. And then afterwards it says to stir it um, off of the stove to cool and then you're supposed to let it fluff like let it fluff out so that's what we did and this is the result this is how it looks so yeah um in this video we're going to be featuring to a uh, local nigerian um new york brands and here they are um and in this shirt we're both wearing um items from new york nigerian brands this is from ny jirian wearing at the back from omova fashions that that's osayemi's fashion yeah yeah and then the back and then osayemi is the bini dude bini dude yeah 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 so, said, bini dude, so we're promoting this product you got it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm Billy and I'm a widow. And my daughter is Niger uh, not, um, Egyptian Nigerian. <laughs> I'm promoting my culture, Billy culture. I'm Nigerian. I'm Billy with a mixture of Yoruba. You know, but I'm being promoting my busy culture. <laughs> All right, so we're ready to try this. We're gonna dig in because we don't want the food to be cold. This is the jollof fries from Trader Joe's, and then this is jollof fries from the restaurant. And we'll be eating a little bit of some meat to pair with it. All right, let's go. Starting with your, okay. So using a spoon, use a fork. So starting with this one, three, two, one. Mm -hmm. It's all okay, it's okay. Does this taste like jollof rice? Mm -hmm. Be honest, does this taste like? Yeah, if, if you went to someone's house and this is the jollof rice they served you, what would you think? Not to be disrespectful, I'll well, eat it. So what would you say it tastes like? You think it tastes like jollof rice? Like, be maybe, honest. Maybe it tastes like Spanish rice. Okay. It yeah. tastes like Spanish rice, not jollof rice. Okay. Yeah. Like the yellow rice, like yellow Spanish rice. Yeah. They have um, color uh, like this, Spanish rice, that is color like this. Okay. You know? But they just don't have... The right seasoning to make it jollof rice, I mean, and then there's no enough um, puree, yeah, no tomato puree. Also, what do you think? This is not jollof rice. Hmm? This is not jollof rice. <laughs> <laughs> do you think it's spicy enough though? It has enough heat, it depends on the person. Okay, but it's labeled as spicy jollof rice. So would you say they performed on the spiciness? Take mm -hmm. one more. Let me see. It's kind of yeah. It's okay. It's okay, but it's not the, the spiciest thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. How do you think they could have made it better for an instant jollof rice? For an instant jollof rice, you think that it's good for an instant jollof rice? Yeah, it's it's fair, fair enough. You know, but for an instant jollof rice. 
Yeah, they probably can add more, a lot more ingredients anyway because they have to, because of preservation. Gotcha. So they probably, they, they're making do with what they have, they have to, you know, what they can. Okay. Because they probably have to, in order to make it a, a module, um, module of ricey, we're going to have to add more tomatoes, more bell peppers, tomato puree. I didn't see tomato puree in the ingredients. Mm, that's true. You know, yeah. they didn't have any tomato puree in the ingredients. Then all that iron and all those things, we don't use it for the natural jello fries. Okay. Let, you know? Yeah, let's try it against the other one. Okay. Would you buy that? Would you go to the store to buy that? No. <laughs> no. Would you recommend to anyone to buy that? Yeah, for uh, for people that just want to eat fast food. I'm not cook, so I won't buy that. I would I would buy jello fries at a restaurant. Yeah. Or eat it at a party, but I would prefer to cook my jello fries than buy this in the store. So the, thoughts between the two. This is much more tastier. Yeah. But with it, a little bit of too much salt. But I don't eat I can salt. see that. Okay. Thank you, viewers. Thanks for watching. Um, to check out our company we have, Alavura, check the description below. Alawura.com. My mom creates waist beads on the company uh, that she sells, so check them out on there and our handcrafted products that we make on there. So thank you for watching and catching my next one. Bye. <laughs>